Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Optris PI camera, or also the Optris XI camera, with the lab view environment. The objective is to be able to display all the temperature measurement fields that we can create with the PixConnect software, also in lab view. Here, for example, you can read out temperature measurement fields, which represent the camera internal temperature, or also set values such as the emissivity. Here on our test bench, we have the Optris PI camera and a cup with liquid, and the objective is to present the main measurement field, which I have set to the cup in the PixConnect software in the lab view environment. For this, we need two COM ports. One COM port is provided by the PixConnect software, and the other COM port is required to read the data into the lab view software. To create these two COM ports on your PC, you need the ComoCom software. This software can be found on our software CD. When you start the ComoCom program, you have the option to create a crossover connection of the COM ports. In my example here, I have created the COM port 3 and the COM port 4. Once you have created the two COM ports, you can now start the COM interface in the PixConnect software. For this, click on Tools and Configuration. Alternatively, you can also use the Configuration icon and go to the tab External Communication. Activate the COM port here. Now, from the list of COM ports, select the first COM port which you generated with the ComoCom software. In my case, this is COM port number 3. Select a suitable baud rate. In my example, I have baud rate 115,200. Click on Apply and OK. Now in the status bar at the bottom, you can see that we have created a connection to the COM port 3, meaning that this is our port which communicates outwards with the PixConnect software. In the LabVIEW software, you can now create your COM port in the block diagram to import the data. To do so, select the COM port module, select the relevant baud rate which you also set in the PixConnect software the number of data bits, parity, and the number of stop bits. The information for declaration can be found in our command list. You will also find this command list on the PixConnect software CD, and the command list also shows you how to do declaration. We need 8 data bits. No parity, 1 stop bit, to start the communication. I have now done the relevant declaration with this input module and in the lab view software itself in the program for the COM interface you can now select the relevant read block and write block. With the write block you now have the options to utilize all of the commands from our command list as listed. You can also find the commands in the PDF document Serial Communication starting with query commands which can be used to query the temperature for example the internal temperature of the camera and where I can also query the emissivity and here in the list you can also find set commands such as for example for setting the emissivity or trigger commands You need these two blocks, the write and the read block, on the one hand to send the commands to LabVIEW, which is done with the write block, and on the other hand to receive the answer from LabVIEW, which is done with the read block, where you can then display the corresponding results. We then see the corresponding results in LabVIEW itself. 
For example, here you have your graphical interface now. You can query all the temperature values and also write values to the camera and query the values at any time. You also have the possibility to receive alarm values transferred from the PixConnect software. You can show these alarm values in the lab view environment and can then also use them. Let's take a look at our cup of liquid here. If I take the cup away, for example, then I get a low alarm. For example, the temperature is below 25 degrees. And if I put the cup back in the picture, then I get another alarm again, depending on how I have defined it. I can also either define a no alarm or the high alarm if the temperature, as is happening right now in the picture, exceeds 50 degrees. Here, not only does the PixConnect software support LabVIEW via your interface in the configuration menu, but also MATLAB, or the Python environment.